In 2016, the Great Barrier Reef was drawn to the public's attention when an underwater heat wave resulted in irreversible damage to parts of the reef. In fact, the reef was initially declared as dead, which we now know is not the case. According to a study published by Nature in April 2018, approximately a third of the reef's coral was killed. While the Great Barrier Reef is still partially alive, conservation and research efforts have grown rapidly after this incident. Furthermore, in October 2018, the Allen Coral Atlas was presented at the R Ocean Conference in Bali, revealing a plan to map coral reefs worldwide to promote coral conservation and research. I'm Neha Madugala, and today I'll be discussing the Allen Coral Atlas and its potential to change coral reef conservation and climate change research. Coral reefs are an indicator while also a victim of rising temperatures and carbon dioxide levels. If temperature levels continue to increase at the current rate, 90% of coral reefs worldwide will be dead by 2050. This issue is not isolated just to the survival of these reefs. Coral reefs play a critical role in the lives of other species. About 25% of marine life rely on coral reefs for food and overall survival. Furthermore, they also act as a barrier for coastal inhabitants. Coral reefs reduce the coastal impact of major storms, greatly benefiting 40% of the worldwide human population that live on or near a coast. Currently, a quarter of coral reefs are damaged beyond repair, and two-thirds of reefs are at risk of permanent damage in the near future. Coral relies on the photosynthetic algae zooxanthellae to survive. Zooxanthellae is very sensitive to temperature changes, so as temperature levels rise due to climate change, the algae leaves the coral. Without zooxanthellae, coral is unable to accumulate enough nutrients for survival, and therefore survival becomes extremely difficult. The nutrients coral typically gets from zooxanthellae results in the bright colors that are signature to coral reefs. Without the photosynthetic algae, the coral turns white, a process referred to as bleaching. As carbon dioxide levels increase due to climate change, the level of dissolved carbon dioxide increases in the ocean. Dissolved carbon dioxide is unstable in water and as a result readily combines with water molecules to produce carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then breaks down into hydrogen protons and bicarbonate. This process results in a decrease of carbonate ions, or dissolved carbon dioxide, and increases the hydrogen protons, which results in ocean acidification. The coral is unable to build their shells because their enzymes cannot work in the more acidic environment. Without a shell, the coral eventually dies. With the survival of coral reefs on a continuous decline, Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, founded a project that has the potential to reverse current trends. The project, the Allen Coral Atlas, is a map created using satellite imagery of Earth's surface to map all existing coral reefs. With the release of this plan in late October, a sample of five reefs was released online. The team working on this project planned to use these images to improve their algorithm and map for a final release in 2020. Unfortunately, Paul Allen and a lead researcher, Dr. Gates, passed away a couple weeks before the release of this project. The team now not only planned to work towards coral reef conservation, but to also honor the work of Allen and Dr. Gates. The team for this project is run by two main groups, a group run by Greg Asner at the Carnegie Institute for Science and another group led by Stuart Finn and Chris Rolf Sema at the University of Queensland. The map is first pieced together using satellite images from about 150 satellites. Most of the satellites are lined along the poles. Therefore, as the Earth rotates, strips of the Earth are captured by the line of satellites. Lining up the images creates a cohesive image of Earth's surface. Asner's team at Carnegie then takes these images and removes visual interferences, such as atmosphere, clouds, and sun glints. Then the image is passed to Finn and Rolf Samo, where the pixels are classified as rocks, algae, sand, coral, or other materials. The goal is to use this map to detect changes in coral to determine which factors are the most damaging to coral survival, and to furthermore find super coral, coral that can survive under higher temperatures and carbon dioxide levels. According to the Carnegie ecologist Asner, super corals are key not just because they're sitting there now alive, but that's the future genetic base for what is going to survive in frequently warmer seas. The Allen Coral Atlas can help save the future of coral reefs. The map can help identify current issues coral reefs are facing, such as bleaching and rising carbon dioxide levels, and can also help plan for a future that can sustain current climate change. It should be noted, however, that even with the Allen Coral Atlas project, the real issue of climate change remains. 
This project can help marine life in the short term, but better policies and action towards reducing climate change is needed for the long-term survival and prosperity of coral reefs. This was Neha Madugala for the Cycle News Hour. If you are interested in the data collected so far, check out the Allen Coral Atlas at allencoralatlas.org. For more stories from the Cycle News Hour, visit www.thecyclenewshour.com or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or any podcast streaming services.